Hey there, this is Vince with Article Marketing Robot. Um, this video, I'm gonna show you the uh, remove duplicates function that's in the software. I put this in because a lot of people really, really want it, and I totally understand. So, uh, as you can see here, I have Article 70, Article 70. Basically, I just took the uh, sites.txt list. Anybody who's seen this will be familiar with it, but uh, I just basically copied some stuff to make a duplicate, and that's how I got it like that. So you can see we got a couple duplicates. This is a really simple process. Um, the first thing you would do is just go into import export site list, go to manage imported and click minus dupes. And that's it. So the next time I refresh, they're gone. Um, now this also deletes the sites from the, the site list and removes any database information that rela relates to that site. So if you have um, like a submitted article, author account, whatever on that duplicate directory, all data that relates to it will be removed. Hey, I knew there was something I forgot to show you. Um, so I'm gonna append this video to the previous video that I just made and basically it's another way to remove, uh, remove your imported site lists. So the first way was going through tools import and then you can remove the uh, imported site list that way or you can actually scroll down to wherever your imported imported are or actually filter it out and then you can uh, control click or uh, you know sh shift click a few and uh, do stuff like that and then what you can do is just right click go to blacklist options and delete from imported so what you'll get is a site removed, refresh your site list. So now negative 15, 16, and 19 through 23 should be gone. Which they are. And this also removes the database information that relates to that site. So um, the blacklisting database information, the article submitted, the author account database, all everything that relates to that article directory ID will be deleted from the database. Now one other thing I wanted to show you before I end the video was in the tools options menu, you go tools options and you'll see here there's an option to load default site list. What that means is that when you refresh your site list, the, the public site list, which is available to all users, will no longer be loaded. And that also means that it will no longer be loaded into memory for the software. So if you're doing an import, none of the uh, URLs will be compared against the default site list. So if I refresh, you'll see that I've only got my imported sites here. Now this is different from the drop-down menu where you have public and imported. Uh, this drop-down menu, if you, if you sort by imported um, and the default site list is still loading, it stores it in memory. So it will still store the default site list in memory during an import check. So if you don't want the default site list, go into the tools options and, and disable that option. So those were the other things I wanted to show you. I hope that all makes sense. Take care. Bye.